Welcome to the Correct DRS User Tutorial, Stabilization. This tutorial is broken up into three sections. In Part 1, we'll take a look at a simple, real-world example of stabilization. In Part 2, I'll go over the various parameters in detail, and in Part 3, we'll cover a more complex example of stabilizing a splice pump. It's always a good idea to work in a new version of the base clip when using full-frame tools such as Stabilize. This will allow you to undo your work if you are not satisfied with it, or try multiple sets of settings. To create a new version, right-click the clip name and select Create New Version. You can see I have already created version 1, and I will be using this. Now let's take a look at the clip so we can see the extent of the problem. Typically, you'll want to stabilize an entire scene from cut to cut at one time using smooth mode. In this scene, there's an additional, more severe instability problem at the beginning of the shot, which is typical of splice bumps as the film goes through the gate. We'll skip these frames for now and save fixing them for part 3. To work with stabilize, you first need to define the portion of the clip to be processed using mark in and mark out. I'll place my mark in here at frame 13. In the Stabilize tab, or the F8 shortcut key, and select a tracking point by clicking the location on the frame with your left mouse button. It's important to know how to select a good tracking point. Good tracking points will be a unique feature, preferably with edges and sharp contrast. The feature should move with the intended camera motion, so typically you'll choose something in the background. I'll adjust the size of the tracking box and motion search area box to fit the scene. Generally the tracking box should easily surround the tracked feature, but not be too large. The motion search box indicates how far away in each frame correct will look to match the feature. You should make this box as small as possible that still accounts for the severity of the judder of the scene. Large motion search areas will make the processing time slower and leave more room for error. As I mentioned, I'll be using Smooth Mode. This is the most commonly used mode and is recommended for most scenes. I need to set anchor points for Correct. Anchor points do just what they sound like. They allow Correct to anchor the corrections to good frames. When correcting a full scene, you almost always want to use both. This will assign the first and last frames as anchors and allow Correct to calculate stable motion between the two. This will make sure that any intended camera motion is not unintentionally removed. Because the scene shows both vertical and horizontal instability, I'll tell Correct to fix both. The first step is to track the tracking point we set a minute ago. To do this, click the Track button or the One shortcut key. When tracking is complete, the tracking box will turn green and tracking data will be loaded in the Stabilize window. I usually like to play back through the scene and watch the tracking point to ensure that it truly tracked the intended feature and didn't wander off. When you feel confident in the tracking, it's time to render by pressing Render All or Shift G. Now let's review the results. This was a simple example of how to use Stabilize under most conditions. In part two, we'll take a look at the different settings and how they affect the results.